little learners, welcome back to Camp Read A Lot, the place where we read books, sing songs, and keep the learning going all summer long. My name is Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? I'm so excited that you made it back today. Today is Friday and the last day where we're going to be learning about Stella Luna, our book about being yourself. So we have Miss Maria here who's going to help us sing a good morning song. Let's get started. Ready? Good morning, good morning. It's a sunshine kind of day. Come join Miss Lara for some learning and some play. Will we sing a song? Of course we will. Make our brains strong, like super strong. So come along. Yes, come on, friends, for some learning and some play. Hello, Jello. What's up, Buttercup? We have so much to do. I'm glad that you are up. We do. We have so much to do, boys and girls. I'm going to put Miss Maria down. So wipe the sleep from your eyes. Get a good stretch going. So this morning, we're going to focus on another book, too, about a little girl who comes to school all mismatched. We're going to do our hokey pokey feeling song, some writing, and then I have a fun project that we're going to do together that involves letters and music using pots and pans and a spoon. We're going to make a ruckus. Are you ready to get started? Okay. We're going to sing our hokey pokey feeling song. So for that, I need you to dance along with me. So make a nice space wherever you are and make sure you're not going to bump into anything. I'm going to turn my music on in a little bit, but let's practice our faces. We're going to need a happy face, a sad face, a mad face, mm. Ooh, scary, a worried face, a tired face, and a loved face. All right, you ready to get started? Let me turn my music on and we'll stand up. Put your happy face in, you put your happy face out, you put your happy face in and say woohoo with a shout. You do the feeling soaky pokey, turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Put your sad face in, you put your sad face out, you put your sad face in, and you cry your sad face out. You do the feeling smoky pokey, you turn yourself around, and that's what it's all about. You do the feeling smoky pokey, you do the feeling smoky pokey, you do the feeling smoky pokey, and that's what it's all about. Put your worried face in, you put your worried face out, you put your worried face in, and you're scared and full of doubt. You do the feeling soaky and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your tired face in, you put your tired face out, you put your tired face in, and you yawn your sleepies out. You do the feeling soaky and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You do the feeling soaky pokey. You do the feeling soaky pokey. You do the feeling soaky pokey. That's what it's all about. Two more. You put your tired face in. You put your tired face out. And again, let's put our tired face in. And we're going to yawn our sleepies out again. Do the feeling soaky and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Last one. You put your love face in. Put your love face out. Put your love face in. And say, I love you with a shout. You do the feeling soaky and you turn yourself around. And that's what it's all about. We're doing the feeling soaky pokey. We're doing the feeling soaky pokey. We're doing the feeling soaky pokey. That's what it's all about. Oh, I'm so glad that you got to do that song with me. Oh, I think we did tired two times. I must be tired too. Now, right now, I hear our doorbell. Miss Maria left us a letter. Let's see what it says. 
Now, of course, when we read our letter, we start where? The left and then swing over to the right. So here we go. This is the left. This is the right. When we read, we start at the left and go to the right. Let's see what it says. Dear Miss Laura, why be like everyone else when you can be yourself? That's true. Can you read Marisol McDonald doesn't match? I think I can. Like me, she tried to fit in, but decided to be her true self. Really, instead, love our character, Stella Luna. So let's see if Miss Maria left me that book that Stella Luna wants me to read. Ooh, here it is. And look, like Stella Luna, she's hanging backwards. Here's our story, Maricel McDonald Doesn't Match. It is by Monica Brown. She's the author and wrote the words. What do you think the story is going to be about? Let's see. A little girl with orange hair, huh? Oh, and look. Tortillas, peanut butter, and jelly right here. Let's read. Ready? My name is Marisol McDonald, and I don't match. At least, that's what everyone tells me. Look at her, it's true. She's wearing striped pants and a star belt, and her shirt has flowers all over it. I play soccer with my cousin Tato, and he says, Marisol, your skin is brown like mine, but your hair is the color of carrots. You don't match. Actually, my hair is the color of fire, I say, and I kick the ball over to Tato's head and into the goal. Ooh, she's pretty cool, huh? A lot of confidence. My brother says, Marisol, those pants don't match that shirt. They clash. But I love green polka dots and purple stripes. I think they go great together, don't you? I also love peanut butter and jelly burritos and speaking Spanish and English and sometimes both. Can I have a puppy, a furry sweet perrito, I ask? Por favor, quizás, mommy says. Maybe, dad says, smiling and winking. Those were a lot of Spanish words, huh? My teacher, Miss Apple, doesn't like the way I sign my name. Marisol McDonald, she says, this doesn't match. At school, we learn to print and use cursive, but not at the same time. But I like the way my name looks. Look at here she is, the teacher. She sounds like she's doing things her own way. Do you have things that you do like no one else does? At recess, Oli and Emma want to play pirates, and Noah wants to play soccer. How about soccer playing pirates, I said. No way, they say. So I run off to play on the swings by myself. Ooh, soccer playing pirates sounds fun though, huh? After recess, we have art, my favorite subject. I think my drawings surprise my friends. <laughs> Here's a drawing, you can see a little pink elephant there with glasses on. So silly. At lunch, Ollie walks over to me and scrunches his nose. Ew, a peanut butter and jelly burrito? He asks. I know, I know, I say. It doesn't match, but it sure tastes good. My soul, you couldn't match if you wanted to, Oli says. Oh, yeah? I bet I can. So let's think. Oli wants her to match, and Marisol is saying, I think I can do it. What do you think is going to happen in the rest of the story? Let's see. The next day I wake up and decide that today I, Marisol McDonald, will match. It's a little hard to find clothes that are all the same color. Look at, look at, I can see in the mirror she's looking in there. She looks so sad. She's not colorful. Her hair is orange, her shirt is orange, her pants are orange. She lost her zest. I play pirates with Oli at recess, but it's not very fun. 
Why can't pirates play soccer anyway? I have a regular peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch, and the bread tastes mushy. Oh no, how do you think Marisol's feeling? Even our class is a little bit boring. Marisol, Miss Apple says, what's wrong? This doesn't look like your usual work. I'm trying to match, I say with a frown. Why, asks Miss Apple. I can't think of a single good reason. There she is, matching, crying. I'm glad she had a teacher who noticed. At the end of the day, Miss Apple hands me a note. Ooh, we get notes all the time here, don't we? I open it and it says, Marisol, I want you to know that I love you just the way you are because the Marisol McDonald that I know is a creative, unique, bilingual, Peruvian, Scottish American, soccer playing artist, and simply marvelous. Miss Apple, I skip all the way home. How do you think that letter makes Marisol feel? Hmm. She's not frowning anymore. When I wake up on Saturday, I put on my pink shirt, my polka dot skirt, and my favorite hat, the one Abuelita bought me from Peru. At breakfast, I say, my name is Marisol McDonald, and I don't match because I don't want to. Bravo, says Mommy. Good for you, says Dad. Now let's go to the pound to get a puppy. Now the pound is a place where dogs go when they don't have owners, so it sounds like she's going to get a new pet. When we go to the pound, there are big dogs and little dogs, dogs with long noses and smooshed faces, chocolate-colored puppies and smoke gray puppies and puppies the color of caramel. How will we ever choose? So here she is trying to choose. Then I see him. He has one floppy ear, floop, and one pointy ear, floop, one blue eye and one brown eye. He is beautiful. I walk over and he leaps into my lap. I cuddle him and it sounds like he purrs. I think we found the just right dog for you, Marisol. Mommy says, my puppy is perfect. He's mismatched and simply marvelous, just like me. I think I'll name my puppy Kitty. The end. Now, boys and girls, if you check out this book from the library, there's a whole space here where it talks about the author's inspiration for writing the text. So what do you think? At the end of the day, Marisol decided that she was better all mismatched because that was who she was. And all this week, we've been reading books that talk about being your true self. Now, what I'd like to do right now is do some writing with you on my board about being yourself. Writing helps us learn to read because it helps us see that words convey a message in the thoughts in our head and helps us figure out beginning sounds and sometimes even rhyming words. Now, you may think, Miss Laura, I don't know how to write yet. That's okay because drawing pictures is a form of writing when you're three or four years old. So you can try to write too in your own way. All right. Will you write some words with me? Some words with me? Some words with me? Will you write some words with me? What will we write about? We're going to write about being yourself. Now on Monday and Tuesday, we introduced a story about a little girl. Do you remember what her name was? Her name was Camilla Cream, wasn't it? Let's see if I can draw a picture of Camilla Cream right here. Here she is. Now, Camilla Cream was not very happy because she woke up with a bad case of stripes. Do you remember why? She loved lima beans. Mmm, she loved to eat them. But did she get to eat lima beans? No, because she wanted to impress people. She wasn't herself, was she? Now, one way that she found her true self is by learning to not impress people. So we're going to write that at the top. You're yourself, and you do not worry about impressing people. So I'm going to start it here. Do, do. I'm going to leave a finger space here. 
do not worry, w worry about impressing people. So let's see, impress, that's a really hard word. Impressing, I-N-G, people. Let's see if I move my board here. So that's one way you can be your true self. And then we read a story about a bat named Stella Luna. So let's draw our bat here. We have a face and some wings. Now Stella Luna learned to be herself as well. Let's see, how did Stella Luna do that? Here's Stella Luna. Stella Luna learned to be herself by, let's see, eating grasshoppers? No, she loved to eat mangoes. But she didn't know that she loved to eat mangoes because an owl attacked her mother, right? It wasn't until her mother found her that she decided, yep, I'm going to eat the mango and be a bat and not a bird. So the lesson that Stella Luna taught us about being yourself was find where you fit in. So we're going to write that here. Find, end with the D, and leave a finger space. Find where you, you is one of our sight words we learned in kindergarten, fit. F it fit in. Find where you fit in. And then we had our friend, Maddie Soul, our last book. What did she teach us about being herself? Let's draw Maddie Soul right here. You remember she had orange hair and she was very smiley and she probably had a striped bow. And she loved to mismatch. So maybe some stripes and some stars. Well, maybe I'll do fingers on her. When you draw your people, do you draw fingers on them? Now, what did she learn about being yourself in the story we just read? Hmm, she learned that it's okay to be different. So let's write that. It is okay to be different. Let's see if I can squeeze that over. I might come down here to write it. Different. So look at all this week we learned. Do not worry about impressing people. Find where you fit in. And it's okay to be different. All of that to be yourself. Now I have a project that you can do at home that'll help you realize how unique you really are using letters and music. So let's go over to our project place. So here we are in our project place. To do this activity with me, you're going to need some pots, pans, boxes, anything you have in your house that will make some noise, and a spoon, wooden or metal, and a post-it note or some paper and a marker. Now what you're going to do is we're gonna make our name into some music. Let's see, I'm gonna write some letters of my name because our names are one thing that's very special about us, isn't it? So my name is Miss Laura. So I'm gonna write L for Laura. I think I'll put it on this pan. A right here. La, I'll put the A here. La, la, and then my last letter is A, right here. Laura. Now you notice that I've labeled my different pans with different uh, letters like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make music with our name. So let's see what our name sounds like when we make music. So Laura, I'm gonna do L-A-R-A. -A. I'm gonna take my spoon, are you ready? Okay, I feel like a rock star. Here we go. Ooh, that's what my name sounds like in music. Let's try it again. Ooh, super cool. All right, then you can kind of switch it around. Let's try switching them around. And what would my name sound like this way? So unique.
unique, so special. Let's try it again and then we'll try a different name. Go ahead. Ooh, that's my name when I make it like that. So you can see, parents, how this could be a fun activity for learning how to spell if you have older children or for letter recognition. I guarantee you that children will love to learn their letters more when they get to pound on something that makes noise versus flashcards or worksheets. All right, let's try a different name. How about Maddie Soul from the book we just read? I wonder what her name sounds like in music. Her name is such a special name. It sounds like it's Peruvian. Peru is another place I would like to visit. Maybe some of you are from Peru. So Marisol, special letter, her beginning sound is M. So I'm going to put it here. Then A, Ma, R, I, Marisol. S, all right, O, and if you run out, just double up, but I have just enough, Mari Soul. Okay, are you ready to hear what her name sounds in music? Let's try it. Okay, I have to think. Mari Soul, beginning sound, M. Here we go. sound beautiful? Let's try it one more time so you can listen. <laughs> All right, one more name. Whose name should I put on here? We have Stella Luna. How about that? Do you think we can make the word that into music? Let's try that. I bet that sounds really beautiful when made into music. We'll try that one, and that'll be our last one before we sing our goodbye song. So bat, b, b, b. Let's try it over here. And you can see, a, bat, t. Okay, last one. Let's see what bat sounds like in music. Here we go. Ooh, doesn't that sound beautiful? Okay, so now that we've made the word bat, we get to play a little music. Can you make some music on your own? Let's use our wooden spoon and our metal spoon to rock out for a second. Ready? Yeah. Making music is one way you can show just how special and talented you are. Looks like it's time for us to sing our goodbye song and in the week. So let me get my letters. Here we go. A is for amazing, that's what you are. B is for brave, that will carry you far. C is for caring and community. And D is for determined, be the very best me. E is for empathy, caring for all. F F is for friends that'll catch you when you fall. G is for grateful for everything around. And H is for hopeful there's more good to be found. I is for imagine all the fun things we could do. J is for joyful how I feel when I'm with you. K is for kind to people and animals too. And L is for love, put it in all that you do. M is for mindful, be present every day. N is for nice words in everything you say. O is for original, always be you. And P is for perseverance until you make it through. Q is for quiet, those bad thoughts. R is for remember all the greatness that you've got. S is for strong, body and mind. And T is for talent, why not make yours being kind? U is for unique, special and loved. V is for victorious, always rise above. 
double use for worthy and wonderful too. X, don't X out those mistakes, they're what make you you. Y is for yes, we're getting the end of this rhyme. And Z is for tomorrow when I'll Z you next time. All right, boys and girls, I hope you had so much fun this week learning about being yourself through our books, Stella Luna, Marisol Doesn't Match, and of course, A Bad Case of Stripes. Remember that you can always come back and watch these episodes on YouTube and on the Valley PBS website. Next week, we'll have a whole new book that we'll get to read and play with and do lots of activities around. Until then, I want you to have a really great weekend. Miss Lara's going to send you a big squeeze, uh, a big smooch, mwah, nice and slobbery, Fluch. and remind you to read and play and to use your imagination every single day. Until next week, boys and girls, have a great weekend. Goodbye.